Go. Hi you guys, welcome back to another video shopping. I feel like I'm QVC, but now it's like CDC, like COVID video shopping. Uh, but you guys have had super response to this, so I'm really excited to be able to offer you guys all of these new fun things. Bridal season. Oh my God, I'm so sorry for all of the brides who have had to cancel or delay their weddings. And kudos to the brides who are finding creative ways of moving forward. Um, we have a lot of brides who are still messaging and we're still shipping. And we still want to make it really easy for the brides. Um, so when we're bridal shopping, there's kind of two ways that you bridal shop. You bridal shop for the lingerie that you're wearing under your dress. And sometimes we have brides come in and they want the garments to be the, the wearing under their dress to be also the garments that they're gonna be wearing later on. And sometimes I just remind people that we're gonna be in that dress for a while and we might be hot, we might be sweaty, and we might want to do a little um, maintenance and clean up before we actually get into our wedding evening because you know the wedding day is a very exciting day and we do a lot of things. We dance, we eat, we drink, we have a great time. And sometimes the garments that are under our dress need to be really structural to support the dress and support all of the things that we need to have going on. So very often the lingerie that goes underneath the dress isn't that hot, but it's really functional. So we focus on the hot. So when you're after your wedding and after everything's done, then you want something fun and pretty and lacy or for the honeymoon fun, pretty and lacy. We have all sorts of fun stuff there. We also have some really great stuff for getting ready for. Um, so for our brides, something a little bit more traditional. I'm gonna give you something traditional and something not traditional. So very classic elegance here. So this has an underwire to it. Because it has the lace overlay, it is uh, restrictive in the bust, so I probably wouldn't do um, a D or above in this for the uh, large. And the it's a satin, so it's beautiful, it's very elegant, traditional. It's got a little keyhole in the back here, which is super cute. Garters are not removable here. Um, you don't have to attach stockings if you don't want to. Garments that look beautiful even when the garters are hanging totally fine it's a thing you can let them hang um, or you can attach the stockings as well this is a beautiful little off-white set in the back here it also does have um you can see the bra strap there so it's really great it does give support it's just not going to be one of those that's really expansive in the bust don't have that issue. Here really doesn't matter what our bust size is because if we have a full bust this is just gonna come down underneath. If we have a more petite bust this has some stretch to it so it's not just gonna flop over um, and it's gonna give you a little bit of um, support there. It goes under the girls, not gonna cover the nips at all. Um, not a lot of coverage going on here in general. This little friend is a one-size garment um, and this is like really comfy and stretchy. And then this one is the Unbind My Heart. This is our wedding version of the Unbind My Heart. This also comes in red and black and it's one of our best sellers because it's super easy for gifting, it's easy sizing. Um, because it is that one size, it's great for a petite frame or a fuller figure and it really is pretty comfy on most. I would say this would be great up to a size 12. So it's pretty comfy. And sometimes when we're getting ready, we want a little coverage. Our bride robe here is very pretty. It's just a soft little satin robe. It is opaque, so it will cover, so you don't have to worry about, um, you know, being with your mother-in-law or being with all your friends and not having some coverage. This is gonna give some coverage. The reason these are really great and the robes are really great in general, um, when we're getting ready for a wedding, you want your hair and makeup done, but then you don't want to pull anything over your head. So having the robes just to just kind of unrobe and keep everything together this is very nice and you don't have to disturb your hair and makeup. Um, so bride robes, really easy. We've got a couple other satin robes that are really pretty too. This one just has the bride, it's nice. Sometimes we want more traditional options and this is really easy gifting because this is small, medium, large. It's very, everything's very stretchy, it's very traditional. Um, 
and then it has these fun little, these are separates, so everything here you can purchase separately, but the little Mrs. Panties and the little Mrs. Garter. The fun thing about this is sometimes when we're doing a bachelorette party, girls come in all the time and they're like, well, I wanna give her something she's actually gonna use, but then I wanna give her something sassy as well. So this is a really fun way to do that, is you can give them something that is practical, pretty, you think she's actually gonna use it, and then spice it up. You can add just like a little pair of pretty Mrs. Panties, you could put some little breezy, aka Crossfit panties there, um, or you could give some other little sassy gift, like nipple gloss or something. So the majority of the gift really is something that she's going to use and you feel really good about that but then again it's a bridal shower bachelorette and you just want to sass it up a little bit so then you can just add that extra little pair of panties or extra little pasties pasties are always a good one um, or just pasties and panties that's a great budget like little gift because it feels like a whole outfit it's a top and a bottom right like you can totally go out in that right um but mix and match your traditional with your sassy and then you can push the bride out of the comfort zone if that's what you're looking to do, or maybe just push you out of the comfort zone. One of our best um, little games that people come in all the time, they come in looking for the panties for the panty game. And that's, we're giving her the, we're giving the bride panties and she has to guess who they're from. And it's really fun to see um, what styles people go for. And they're like, oh my God, I'm the conservative one. She would never expect me to give her crotchless panties. Or, you know, I'm the one who's really loud and sassy and she would never expect me to give her something really traditional that she's gonna use all the time. So um, lots of different fun ways you can mix and match here in bridal section. Again, you don't have to be limited to white and bridal. We do a lot of blue, something borrowed, something blue, but really, 10 to one, we still do black for bridal showers and bachelorette parties. Um, white is beautiful and it's gorgeous, but some people it's just not their thing. So get to know your bride and you will always know your bride best and um, we're here to help. So you tell us about your bride and we're gonna help you find the right fit.